<laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. What's up, guys? What's Good. Going on? How you doing? How's everything? This is Growing Up a Time podcast. We got two first time podcast uh, podcasters. All right. Got my guy Anthony, aka Lardo. Cheers. Giovanni. You're AKA the zip in Brooklyn. You already know. So right here, Gina. I'll be here. I'm sorry. I'm Come sorry. A little closer. Not I got some closer. basic Instagram. I grew up very tiny, right you know, <laughs> like with the googoots and you know. Yo, before we even start this uh, thing, you told me you just had a close friend in Italy that passed. Yes, by. yes, yes. I want to take a moment for for him. It was a good friend, good boy. You know, it happened to pass. He made his own decisions, you know? He could have went different ways, but he definitely didn't. I am sorry my heart is out there for him and his family. Rest in peace, you know? Rest in peace. I just don't want to... What's his name? His name was Fabrizio. That was his name, but... We all used to have nicknames back home, so... You know. What's his nickname? Cavalier. Oh, the Cavalier. horseman. Yeah. The horseman. Yeah, he was a character. He was though. a bomber? It was a character. All right, before we go any further, I'm sorry to interrupt. I know absolutely no Italian. I'm going to pretend like I do, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, though. The Italian level goes up like this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's I'm, great. I'm, you know how many yeah, times you know? I don't understand English? You're like, just, yeah, so yeah, yeah, okay. He's no problem. He's Italian-American. Yeah, I'm Italian-American. Yeah. We're, we're just here chilling with Gio. Yeah. We, we met a couple of times, and I'm like, yo, this kid's a character. We got to get him on the podcast. And I know our girl followers would love you. So all the girls I hope so. who he is. Here we go. Know, this is, this we is definitely we definitely need more love around here, you know? Right, and check out uh if you're looking for a car in New York City, make yeah, sure to check out Shout out JYD. Out. Yeah, shout out to JYD, you know, the big yeah. homies. doing our thing over there. For sure, for sure. Real um, quick too, I actually wanna mention we're doing something special this summer for all summer long. We're giving away a free shirt every week as long as you subscribe. So please subscribe on our YouTube page, all that good stuff. Get right. that shirt. Get I'm those on. shirts, kid. Um, Go there with your family, I'm like gonna, kids. I'm gonna double kids. subscribe. So, G, um, let me ask you something. Go How ahead. How long have you been living in uh, New York for? Well, I decided to move to the state when I was 19 years old in 2006, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Oh, wow. Never seen so many Mexicans in my life. <laughs> All love to my Latinos out there, by the way, you know? And uh, and nothing. And uh, they brought me to Times Square, I remember. The first thing we, we did was after the airport. You went straight to Times Square? Times Square, straight up. Because we had to go to Manhattan to go see somebody for the job. For me, to go oh, see somebody. Pizza. Yes, you know. But, uh, and uh, as soon as I saw Times Square, I took the... The ticket to go back home and I ripped it. I said, I ain't going on back home. Stay here. Yeah. And here I am. Have you been back to Italy since? Yes, yes. I've been there three times. I, I, yes, three times. And Last time was four years ago. Well, my, my parents uh, my parents passed away when I was uh, a little younger. Uh, unfortunately, they both uh, happened to pass away really young. So I pretty much grew yeah, up with my grandparents. Work. My, my cousins, my uncles, you know, I grew up, but, but then by the time I was 16, 17 years old, I was already supporting myself, you know, out there is not, it's, it's a little rough, you can make the, you can make the best out of it, but it was definitely not my case, you know, it was too much uh, bad background for the family, you know, my father, my father passed away, my uncle passed away, so things got a little harder, I said, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be here for long. You know, like I think there is more out there that I I can go explore. There's another opportunity. Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I was always passionate with the restaurant business, anything that is related to cooking. So I say New York it seems like you know a Place good city, a good city to go for food and you know hospitality and stuff like that. So I decided I was young. I really didn't know what what I wanted to do and. Uh, I decided to move, and I started working in the bakery. Did you have family and friends here too? No, I didn't have anybody. Through a friend back home, we got in contact with somebody over here that he had a, a, fam, a family member that had a bakery, so he gave me a job right off the bat. So I came over here, I had a job. So so you you came here straight up on yeah, off yes, the rip, yes, like yes. 
I was gamble. excited. I was excited. Yeah, I was excited. Oh, I didn't care. I didn't care. I remember I saw my grandfather because three months three months after my grandfather died. Yeah. And my grandfather goes, "Don't don't come back if I die. It's fine. It he doesn't matter. Older? Stay there. Think about your future. Who cares? You know." Did you go back? I didn't go back because uh, so I ca- I kind of I kind of couldn't couldn't go back. Because my visa was almost Expired. about to expire, then I was right after three months. Later. You know, it, and uh, I was having a little trouble trying to go back, and uh, that was tough for me because my grandfather was the guy that pretty much raised me, was the guy that I grew up together. I, you know, it was the the guy that I smoked the first cigarette together. You know, Your like father, right? My grandfather was my my like like my boy. Your best friend. Yeah, it was my boy. We worked together a long time. He always treated me like a man. You know. It's actually I never met either of my grandfathers. They yeah, I never met my dad. My other either, grandfather, either. my mom's father, he died. He committed suicide. This guy. Yeah. Forty seven years old. He jumped from the window. Imagine. This guy. Yeah. Bye. Forty seven. Forty seven years old. Fuck but he man. runs That's in young. the family. In the side of the family, run in the family. His his brother killed himself too. Crazy bastards. Yes. Life is too precious. Yeah, to man. man. Yeah, you but life, it, it all depends on the way. I believe people always say life is too precious, this and that. But it all depends on the way you look at it. Yeah, let's, you know, get, let's get let's get into some happy stuff. You're a happy. Yeah, guy. definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I was about to get up and get another beer because I was getting a little sad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's no, but that was a kind of introduction of what I am. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, a little back Gio's good people. I know Gio. Yeah, let's talk shit, bro. This is a seri- this is a seri- we we mm. hit him with like a serious note. Yeah. yeah. Was, that, was that like the yeah, first time yeah. you had an introduction let's like that? Play some happy music. Yeah, yeah no. yo, play, play some, Lady, play, play, play some fucking Neapolitan music, like uh, Capoli Tan. Oh, so let me. <laughs> yo, G, I'll be, I'll be rolling on the floor. His mentality was yes, like let's say three friends back home versus us. What's the biggest difference, Italy versus New York, United States, America, well, whatever? Obviously, right off the bat, I can tell you, you guys have. Uh, uh, a lot mentally you guys are more open than us that's for sure but not because we're not smart or it's because we are exposed to different realities you know like mm-hmm. and you guys get into you know these things like I can never imagine to do these things back home with a bunch of guineas over there you know like, what do you mean like yeah. I can never imagine to do a podcast back home like we don't believe in these things yeah yeah I know I know you guys are, but, and even in Italy when I was like when I had good. family coming from Italy and like yeah, but you know, who is a cretino? Cretino, who is a papagnate? You know, like, I know, I know. They, they. He said they're basically potheads. Yeah. And uh, and, uh, and no, but translation. But there is other things that that I I miss from back home, and but there's a lot of things that I like that I like here. I would definitely I prefer to live here. Actually, that's for sure. I actually got a really like crazy direct message before. Wow. And it's always the people from Italy wow. that like don't like us or like what we post on our page. He's not that, that I like. He's not that they don't. That like they say that. Look, I'm gonna. You read this real quick, because I shouldn't even give this guy this all this look. But just read like the first to so that part Italia right there. You want me to read yeah, it aloud? Read it. Yeah, read it. aloud. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody, over here, nobody's going to understand. No, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll explain what it all says. Right, buonasera. È da, non, è da non molto che vi seguo e sto vedendo che pubblicate video e fotografie sulla cultura italiana. Su quella che per voi è la vera cultura italiana, ma non sappiate che non è... Oh, this thing closed. Uh, where to go? I don't know. <laughs> We're on vacation. Su quello che per voi è la vera cultura italiana, ma sappiate che non è quella che pubblicate. Ho visto i cibi che in Italia non esistono proprio. <ride> Come ad esempio il panino con gli gnocchi e la pizza con la Nutella. Queste cose non esistono in Italia. Sono un po'. Ma è vero. Ma è vero. Good evening. It's not long since I follow you guys. Yeah. I'm seeing you publish a lot of videos and photographs on Italian he's culture. He's hating. He's hating. That's he's what hating he's doing. Yeah, he's hating on. He I've seen foods that do not exist in Italy, such as, for example, the sandwich with gnocchi and pizza with Nutella. Now, yo, I've had pizza with Nutella in Italy. 
dozens of times, right? Top three. Right. Top, well, top, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Top three Italy. things ever. Nutella's top three favorite but, food ever. Yo, so he just <laughs> sent us like this crazy hate DM because we posted one video with a sandwich gnocchi. Meanwhile, we're like trying to preserve Italian culture, and it's like Italian culture has like so many. It's like so, like extensive, like. You know, Italians went everywhere. They went to Argentina. They went to Venezuela. They went. We are definitely people that like to leave uh, our stamp and everywhere we go. That's for sure. We create our own world around communities. We did over here. Where they they did in the West Coast, San Francisco. They did it in San Diego. They did it in Chicago. They did it everywhere. You know, like I've been in a few places, and everywhere you go, there is that Brooklyn feeling everywhere. That Italian Brooklyn feeling. You know, mm -hmm. everywhere you go, Philly, Boston. Everywhere you go, there is this that that feeling. I've witnessed because, that in Philly. When I went to Philly, it was a nice, yes. Italian shocked neighborhood. about how many Italians are in Philly. The, you, you gotta they have like an Italian you know, market you in the summer. They have people an Italian that, market. People that came here from the the southern side of Italy sixty years ago, seventy years ago, they were living a lifestyle on in 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 the Mediterranean, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a very very poor. Lifestyle, you know, like you basically live off the the land or right then, whatever. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so whatever it is. Then they they used to grow. So basically, whatever you grow or kill is what you eat. Yes, and maybe you have a couple bags of pasta in the cabinet. And, and they used to work very hard back home and not 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 really seeing any profit. You know, like mm -hmm. a little bit for the conditions, a little bit for the weather, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So they moved elsewhere and they made it happen. Mm -hmm. They really made it happen. That's one thing about Italian people. They always being hardworking people. You know, exactly. like always. What's like an average job for like a teenager out there? Listen, like, I can't tell you. In a bar, restaurant. That's what, like, I, they have like after boys I and left. Stuff like that. After they don't I make money. They make like twenty. After I a left. Day. After I left. I never really got to keep informed about these things. Like oh, how much you make, how much you don't make. I really don't know. But pretty much is the same from when I left. Me, basically, I was running a business with my family, so we, we, we operated our own business. So me, personally, I was making a little bit more money than everybody else on my age. You know what I'm saying? Not that it was a lot, but my grandfather was taking care of me, you know? So, but the average, what, what do they mean? $800 a month? Yeah, that's what it's like. Like, what are you doing? Month, uh, if you can make, you. I believe if yeah. you can make about 1,500 euros a month life. in Italy, you from what life. I got, you live, you live a fair life. So fifteen hundred euros. We're talking about fifteen twenty twenty thousand dollars a year. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. What are you gonna do with twenty thousand dollars a year in Brooklyn? Twenty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> but first of all, in Brooklyn, no comment. Not, first of all, first of all, Brooklyn is not is not a spot. It's not a spot where you can survive with twenty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, you need a hundred thousand dollars a year. Besides the fact that if you gotta live in Brooklyn nowadays, don't. Don't don't go. You think ahead. Brooklyn's the most expensive when it comes to like rent and food and the cost yeah, of living? But I, I, it's officially, Besides Manhattan, I believe it's obviously. officially the second uh, highest real estate in the country after San Francisco. Really, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, I think is the the highest real estate in the country. Man. Yeah, shout out Williamsburg. It's uh, got some good sandwiches. Because I, it's the it's where it's located and it is nice. It's the view towards the city that made it really really nice. Also, you're close to the city. It's and, and 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 the but everybody's moving to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It's crazy. It's everybody crazy. wants to live in Brooklyn it's now. Crazy. It's but I have to say, certain part of the city, they still not there, and a lot of people moving in there. You lived, in, you lived in Bed Stuy. I lived. I lived in Bed Stuy until about a month ago. Yeah, I was. I was exactly in the on Green Avenue and Broadway, right underneath the train. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was right there. They had built this new building, and at how that long time, were you living there for? I believe I lived there for three and a half years, four years, something. And like you that. saw a change in three and a half years, right? Just from yes, yeah. Never really, never really happened to me over there. It was cool, like in the block, all the people in the block were very cool people. I pretty much had a routine, you know, going, going to work and come back home at night. But I knew everybody pretty much in the building. It was all young crowded, you know, rooftops, jam. We had a lot of good times, I have to say. <laughs> I, mean, I met a lot of beautiful ladies out there. I love Buenos Aires. Yeah. Hey, listen, you got to live then looking forward for something, you know. So what do you got, what do you got planned? What do you guys got planned? What I got, got planned? Yeah, in, you, in what terms? 
Like you were telling tonight, me about you wanna you I finish this shit and I go home and sleep. <laughs> and you were telling me you wanted to open up a pizzeria, right? Yes, yes. Well and not too long ago, uh it was um adventuring myself in a in a business experience with a few people and uh didn't work out. Uh long story short, I walked away and nobody really got hurt. No, I believe they're maintaining they're maintaining their money. I hope so. I didn't make any money, <laughs> but the experience was a little tough for me because I had to go back to work. Now I'm working for these people that are very successful. Uh, they located in in Long Island. I had to move out there too, so it, it would be a little easier. It seems like these people will offer a future if you got the right mindset because they're hardworking people. And hardworking people only give chance to hardworking people like them. So, and and I believe it's fair, and I believe they're doing the right thing. But I've always wanted to be my own boss because I got my own ideas. I want to do something from scratch. I want to do something real this time. You know, like just me. And, and I'm open for partnerships. <laughs> <laughs> he needs no. a girl and a sp and he needs a partner. But to, but to leave it in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What a, you're an ex pizza pizza guy too. Yeah, man, I actually work side by side with this man, and uh, I have to say one thing: he makes a good a good pie, all different types. He's Everything? a hard worker. You want to open a slice in uh, soda shop? Right? I want to open a yes, a, a I want to open found soda only. Yeah, but you don't want to do no like dollar slices, right? No, I don't you want to do like no, authentic I don't want stuff. My pizza yeah, to be cheap, not yeah. for nothing. Those my, people got to be making good money just because they're all in the city and the rent has to be crazy there. How that's much? Market. You, right, you, you've, been, that, you've been there. You've done that. How much profit do you think you can make off one pie pizza selling it dollarly, like a dollar a slice? A dollar a slice. Well, yeah, that's really obviously cheese, cheese, yeah. cheese, obviously, 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 yeah. I, I obviously, it's not going to be the best quality, but I've had it a few times, and I don't judge anybody swap, yeah. in this field because the market, the market is the market. Okay, and you sell anything. I don't judge anybody for selling things that are uh, when they use cheaper product and stuff like that because everybody look after their own interest, right? Yeah. And uh, but I don't believe and I don't support using cheap product because you can sell anything for five dollars, right? You can sell a slice of pizza for five dollars. People do it all the time, even more. But it's not nice to fool somebody and tell that that person that you're selling something that is worth five dollars when it's not. You make it look like it's worth five dollars because it's easy to do it in a town like New York City. It's really easy. Social media, people that don't know well, nothing about. Sometimes the it. rent is very expensive yeah. too. You know what I mean? And uh, well, obviously, if I you remember the be... slices were like a dollar fifty, like normally, and then one seventy five. You know, now what's a slice of pizza? $3? That doesn't make. That I watch doesn't... A, I watch a slice that of pizza go up seventy five cents in a year. That is not an excuse something that is not worth the price you're asking for. People don't become successful by 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 selling things that are not that, that they're not real unless if it's something that you make it with your hand with, with your hands it's it's got to be something worth worth the weight Sounds worth special, the, yeah. yeah you know not special necessarily or seasonal you know it's got to be good it's got to be good me I will personally not sell anything that I won't eat yeah no I agree that's the way I, I, am too. I don't because because it's it's nonsense to do that you know what I'm saying like that's no there is no nothing. No love about it at all. You know what I mean? I like, I like doing what I do. T today I was at work all day. Today I made pizza all day. I'm happy. I love it. Because it's like, it's like hey, listen, everybody's got his own things. You know, like you, you, got your, you, you got your podcast or whatever, your social media, whatever. Me, I like to stay there and do my things. And I, it's therapy for me. It was relaxing. I think. I think. I, I you smack the dough, I, right? I think. Oh, I smack it hard. <laughs> <laughs> flip it, smack. I'll be posting videos. You know. Yeah, you post yeah. videos. No, no I'm you saying because I will. I will. I now I will. I will uh, you start, start a little more. Yes, I want to get on the. the Set your phone down. All right, and just let me tell you something. Record, uh, let me record tell you yourself something. doing that. I know that I sound like I know what I'm talking about. But when it comes to phones, or technology, I mean zip. Well, the first thing you gotta do you is get one. Out. Shout out to Geo. Shout out to Geo. We were working together. He would Facetime back home three, four times a week, <laughs> and I like that. That was cool for like three hours. It was that's cool. You already know. Back and Tango, back Skype, whatever. He's like the only one who still uses Skype, but it's all right. Back home is back home. <laughs> the first thing you gotta do if you wanna start, you know, getting advanced with your phone is get an iPhone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I t- I've been telling him that. Hard. I've tried. He what said we're going to go. He never That's went. All, like, but I don't have a time. It's a Nokia. I don't have time Nokia to do smartphone. Anything. I don't have time to do anything. I don't have time to do anything. I just moved to Long Island. You know that I I, 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 I brought all my all my stuff over there, and I, I still I still didn't have the, the bed, all everything set up, and, and stuff like that. I sleep on a mattress right now. You know that? Because I have no time. I've been working six, seven days a week like crazy. You know? That's why you need because to grow, man. I happen to find this job with these people when they needed somebody so bad for a few places. So I start working two days over here, three days over here, two days another spot because they own so many spots. So they've been sending me over here. Now finally I found the spot and they sent me all the way to Massapequa. And every every day was a, was a like a commute, you know, like it was like 45, 50 minutes commute every day, you know, like I, I I'm not a morning person. I, I hate everybody in the morning. I wanna <laughs> go, I wanna go to work quick. You know, I wanna I wanna be there like in 20 minutes. And now it's it's a little easier to get there. And you know, so I get, sure? yeah, you know, like because I don't wanna get to work already aggravated for the traffic. You know what I'm saying like, yeah, I'm a very yeah, sure. you know. In the morning, I'm not a, I'm not, a, I'm not somebody you wanna, you, you wanna test, you know, like I'd be cursing you out. <laughs> you gotta drink an espresso first. Forget it. I'm How much espresso do you drink a day? Well, I'm um, seven. No, 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 I don't do that. No, I don't do that. Maybe I used to do it because uh, it was part of a lifestyle that I have, you know, like always hanging around, not doing anything. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, whatever. It's funny. The people that do the least drink the most coffee. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. like it's it, it kills time. It's a time. It's a it's a time killer. Yeah, but because we made a culture about it, like for us, it's something. Ah, let's get a coffee. And the first thing, how is like, the how is the espresso? If I see a friend, yo, let's buy the coffee shop. We we'll get a coffee together. Like, what the fuck is it? But what is it with this coffee that people drink? After, I, okay, if you're upset about something, you say, okay, come down to the coffee shop. We talk. And we drink a coffee. You're gonna make him even more mad with this coffee. Leave him alone. Now he's gonna have another one. I'll take another one. <laughs> You know, like, like you play cards for eight hours. Yeah, and, school and by and bridge club. Espresso. Ah, uh, school. Bro. How is the espresso out there? Is it drinkable or is it like straight? Where in Italy? Like, yeah. It's but best. I don't, I don't see any difference in the, when it comes to espresso or the coffee. I don't. We, we, have, have, we have the good stuff, but not good. a lot of. I can say have this. I can say that when it comes to like to cappuccinos and stuff like that, I like it better over there because I think it's the milk that is different. It's not the milk's like more. And it's I don't like know natural, if right? it's better this one or that one, but that one. <laughs> Definitely tastes tastes bad for me. <coughs> Cappuccinos in Italy are pretty awesome. Over here we do the funky stuff though. Yeah, like we, not, not did you see the cap- Hold on, is, did no, you see the There's cappuc- a lot of good places in New York, especially in Brooklyn. Now there's a lot of good coffee shops. Give us some shops. good places. Go did you, some good there is a shops. there is a place on. Wait, no, I, I got one. Bless you, bless you. <laughs> salute, salute. salute, salute, salute. Thank you, I'm sorry. Ah. It is a good spot <laughs> right, right right off. Um, um, on Broadway, on Van Buren and Broadway. This is in Brooklyn? Or? Yes, and it's called Hearts Coffee Shop. That's oh, my yeah, friend. Heard of it, heard That's of it. my friend Carlos and my friend Kim. They're very good people. They just had a baby about six, seven months ago, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All love to them. They good people, and they always took care of me. And they and they make a really good coffee. Beautiful couple, beautiful people. You ever God see the cappuccino them. like in the avocado? Did you see that they would they made a cappuccino? They would hollow out like a half of an avocado and they would pour it in. That's there. nice. Nah, I seen it on that's Instagram. A, that's the Williamsburg. Yeah, shit. no, and like I, I had I had mixed feelings about it. You know, I, that's one thing I don't think I would is, try. There's coffees, there's places in Italy, I believe, and and in other places <laughs> in the world that sells coffees that are very expensive like coffee beans they'll go like up to four five hundred dollars a pound like colombian right or no? i mean from everywhere in the world everywhere coffee is not necessarily only from south america there is other places in the Ethiopia world that they make, too, yes right? and uh but coffee in italy it's uh we made it a culture you know like for us it's an espresso it's you know a, the owners the original starbucks got the idea from italy right from I, Tazza de Oro. I, I, have, I, have, I have no idea who the, the, the original owners. Starbucks is in Seattle. But I'm saying there's like one, there's a crazy one in Italy, in, in Milan. You know, that's that, like legendary. Like there's a line around. They got, is it I true believe, Magic Johnson had something to do with Starbucks? 
I heard when he was like laid off from the NBA, he was like a yeah, big, but I believe big face in Starbucks. Not, yeah, I will, I will. If I was a sport player, if I was like an athlete, I would definitely invest in. Yeah, that but he he was out of the NBA, so he figured he wasn't gonna play I again. Would definitely invest so in that. Invest in. Starbucks is the beginning of the future of a coffee shop because these things they're gonna die. I think it reached its peak. I don't like, really think it's. I think it has its name little, for itself. I don't really I, think I, it's I think gonna. It's so like. Mainstream. It's mainstream. Everywhere. Like, there's gonna be so much. Yeah, but I feel like it's, it's like mainstream. Dunkin yeah, it's just. No, they it's, it's Dunkin' now. Come up. It's just, they dropped the donuts. It's Dunkin'. It's either that it's or Duncan. somebody's gonna come up <laughs> with a new, with a different brand, with a new brand. Yeah. Something even better than Starbucks. Some Somebody's gonna do it. Something's gonna happen. So, what's something better than Starbucks? Sure. Something real, like real Italian. Like the way we do it over there, this is yeah, the, but it's that's all, you, kid. It's, that's, I can do it. I know I can do it. We got like a million right. dollar idea in the works that we were just. I, I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, want. Yeah, that's that's I wanna, these between us. I want to. I want to. My idea is to create a Starbucks, but a, of of pizza. <laughs> do it. Explain like, that. Do it. Do it in terms of where you. Is a spot where you can get your personal pie, but you can also sit down and be on your laptop. You know, on the pizza corner lounge. of the store, but we have the atmosphere of the of the brick oven, and we have appetizers, we have uh, you know sandwiches, everything out of the oven, not nothing in the kitchen like that. You know what I'm saying? Like salads, if you want to get a salad, and also want to do beers, you know, wine, you know, maybe you know meats and cheeses. A cafe style. Yes, but I want to do it nice. I want to design nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Make it nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on top of it. Yeah. What else, guys? No, but business. Uh, uh, the... Oh, you know what else is funny, G? The first time I met you, you're like, I think I met your father. Yeah. How random was that? Yeah. The, your, your father is a good guy, though. Your Everybody father is a good guy. Me that. Your <laughs> father is a good guy. I'm like, really? You know, he's a good guy. He feeds people. That's why. He feeds people, and that's love. Yeah. He gave me the sandwich on him. Yeah? I'm coming with you next time. That was great. That's that's yeah. extremely rare. Yeah, that's... He tries to charge me for the sandwiches. <laughs> Full <Yeah>. price. <laughs> I don't know. I think people feel bad about me. I love it. I eat like a pig. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably like, oh, it's Zuzi Dali. Yeah, know? he was... Like, yo, he came around the counter. I said, oh, this guy made me want to hit me. I don't know. <laughs> what happened? But it was actually, you know, really, really nice. It's funny. It's like... When I see like off the boat zips, I I walk the other way. My dad walks too. I'm like, it's like a mag- like, you know, like my cousins from Italy come. My even like me, 90, even 90, I do that. I do that too. Ninety percent of the see, time. Like, I need I need I need to know a reason why. Because when I see like a little posse of the zips, I kind of want to sit down, like listen, and I just feel like I it's mean, more interesting. Listen, I'm not gonna say I walk away. No, I, I know, I know. What I'm trying to say is like, in in uh, like. In a broad explanation, like sometimes in certain situations, it's happened where you know people from my hometown come. It's like when they're here, I used to take them there, take them there, take them there, bring them here. And then when I see them over there, not even a cup of coffee, you know, like yeah, uh, it's like I, you know I, mean? I like, I've experienced the same thing with my own family. I don't have to go far, my own, fa- but you gotta understand one thing. They don't. You you live you live in in a in a situation that they live in the different in a different situation. They it's not that they don't want to do it. It's not that they don't. Want, I mean, I can speak for my family. It's not that they don't want to do. It. They can't afford to do that. Not Most a cup of, of coffee. The, nah, forget about a cup of coffee. That's even stupid. That's <laughs> even stupid to think about. But the first time I went back home. My cousin didn't really, they didn't do anything with me. Family in general, like even like a friend. But like, so why didn't they gradually take the move as well? If they, you know, like. But that's, but that's the start with the ignorance. It's, it's, it's hard. Ignorant. No, I can't. I'm not going to say just jump up and move, of to course. leave everything and yeah. just come here, not knowing the language. Not yeah. It's not really a risk, but you're not, you're not risking anything. You're risking everything. Why are you risking everything? You're leaving your whole comfort zone to come here. You don't what know comfort language. zone? We, you don't know what? what comfort zone? We were struggling, ripping each other's eyes out. What do you? What? I there was liberation. I was liberated when I left. When I came over here and I finally had a job and making three hundred seventy-five dollars a week, I was happy. The happiest man in the world. Because when you, I, when you first came I, 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 I legitimately thought I said, "I, right, 
I can do it because now every week I get paid. You know, like he's not gonna be. Oh, I don't have the money for you. You know, what I'm saying? because that that's that's what's happening over there. Yeah, that's, yeah. True, that's true. Like, why well, you think people just go mad and do crazy, crazy thing? But at the end of the day, you see different opportunities, different you know, diff different future in your vision. You know, like and. You go with it. What are you gonna do? Some people they just stay where they are. Some people look the same. Some people grow. Some people see they have vision in different ways. Some people really make it big over here. Mm. You know, That's true. me I seem to have a really hard time. I, I've been having a hard time a little bit for me because I have my own character too. You know, and sometimes I'm bipolar too. You know? <laughs> at least you're honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the honesty the at the first, table. The first step is knowing you have a problem. <laughs> Second step, yeah, continuing yeah. to have the problem. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> because I, I made the I've made the mistake of thinking that people like me, and think like me, and it's not. And I and 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 I have to say I'm blessed that I think the way I am because I know that if you give if you give me an assignment i know i'll get it done you know and that's that's comfort for me that i feel people i work i work with they these people they kill your dream you know what i'm saying like they just work just because they they have to you know what i'm saying but you can expect them to work for the love or whatever they do not everybody has the same love for the same things in life you know you got to respect that too from people and uh, sometimes we get carried away what are i got to do I have uh, hit a few people on the job. Yo, real quick, real <laughs> before we go, before we check everybody out, tell me this kid doesn't look like this guy. Who's that, me? Yeah. All right. But why all my life people be telling me, yo, you look like this guy, you look like that guy? A little bit, yeah, definitely. You know who this is? That's a, the soccer player, you know? Yeah. Cardi? Mauro Cardi? What team you like, Palermo? I don't fucking know. What soccer team are you? Don't watch soccer? <laughs> I I used to. What kind to, of Italian I, are you? No, I I play soccer. But I do you play soccer. Do you have a favorite team? Can my you run the game of soccer right was now? Milan, all, uh, AC Milan. Bro, yeah, that was my favorite. Then when Palermo went to Serie A, it was Serie, it I was start fun. I wish we started going because we started going to the stadium when Palermo was in Serie C do it. Like yeah. we could have beat them, you know. Like, <laughs> when me and my boys could have beat them. <laughs> Word, I had some good friend, like good, uh, good at uh, uh, soccer. Back Yo, do we have time for like one story from Gio? Yeah, go ahead. I, I have one request before we all check out. I want to, yeah, I, I think it's appropriate. Um, I don't think it's really a bad story. It's funny. Um, worst things happen in this world. Um, all the animal sensitive people. Yeah. You know, it's Have all. A nice night. It's all okay. Yeah, check no, out. But that's that's. I, 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 you, Quick, you, brief it up. This just, is real life. This shit. is real life. This, this is, is real what life. On, this I, is what happens. Where I come from, we kill pigs with our own hands. We get a knife right, and right. we in, kill. In, with, it's with, just like Italy's I think. Back. I think the old thing with the animals, uh, like over here, nobody was trying to kill, or or uh, it was just amusement. <laughs> For a close-minded <laughs> people, and nobody behind you telling you not to do and recognize that those were brutal things that we were doing. So, it so you're blaming things. someone else for your actions, or yes, because I was very young. <laughs> I was very young. I was very young, and I was excited about being around certain things. So, so explain. But let's get to the story. <laughs> Once upon a time, <laughs> I was with a couple of friends and. Uh, and we were really young. It was a little bit after my father died. And I was still, you know, a little bit under the pressure. And I wanted to go to school and just wanted to be a brat. So my boy goes, why don't you come with me? Uh, and they had a house outside of the city. A fort, huh? Yeah, you know, in Campania. That's what we say, right? And, uh, and, and, and where, he, where he had the house... This guy had a bunch of donkeys and pigs and whatever. But I, I am a city boy. I can never, I can never say anybody in my family grow chicken on on that eggplant in the backyard. We didn't have that. We had a fucking house on the third floor in the building. That's what we had with, a, with an elevator. We, we did that. So for me, it was new and it was always funny to do to do things out there and going over there because for, for me, it was new. So I, we happened to. 
come across shotguns. Get to the point, G. We want to hear what you did. To I'm me. like laughing. And I'm holding this laughing. And no, like, we. You know, I was getting to the point right now. So we come across a few shotguns. Then there's people used to used to go hunting, and we have these donkeys. So now my my boy's father has set up a bunch of bulletproof vests, all suit up together. He, he puts it across the donkey. We shot the donkey like about three times with the shotgun. <laughs> the donkey, it, the, donkey, the donkey was on the floor. The donkey was on the floor, knocked out. Puffing at best. And we put a cigarette in his mouth. We put a cigarette in his mouth and a beer next to him. Uh, like, you know, make him look like as if he was drunk. You know? And we no, shot by the time. So we couldn't take the the, he the, was bullet, a, the bulletproof vest off because he was leaning on one side. Motherfuckers like six hundred. But pounds. he wasn't. He wasn't dead. <laughs> lift them up. He was good though. No, he wasn't dead. No, he wasn't dead. He was. No donkeys were harmed or killed. No, <laughs> but we shot him from, from like like firing off, not to hurt them. Just know? knock him out cold. Like <laughs> it, it wasn't even bullets that that, that spread. It was like a, they did a shot. Like a sniper bullet. Yeah, that was. That was no, but I mean, if they if, if he didn't have the bulletproof, we would be dead right now. That's normal. But with, like I say, bro, you're gonna get on people nerves like that. I love animals. I love them. I love them. I love animals. That's for sure. Where, where is your dog? Where is it? Where is it? Yo, he I'm actually does not come out. in the office. He does not come in the office. Yo, thank you guys for all tuning in. I appreciate you. You already know. Good Sunday. All right, thank you.